glucose monitoring is very essential in the clinical management of diabetes and if you see uh, the evolution of diabetes management i think glucometer is the greatest innovation because checking blood glucose is a very important parameter uh, for even for a doctor and even for the patient to know about their glucose fluctuations so initially we used to have a glucometer to know the blood glucose levels and we used to do a seven point monitoring and during course of the time of the management of diabetes uh, we used to see that good glucose monitoring is very important for clinical outcomes but currently last few years there's a lot of innovations in uh, uh, glucose monitoring and also a lot of updates are happening that glucose the variability can lead to a lot of complications because we just rely, rely on like like oscillated hemoglobin hba1c hba1c is give, gives a reflection of last 3 uh, to 4 months of uh, the glycemia i think it is very important to know the fluctuations on day to day variations so it is very important to know the the current uh, monitoring systems also because there is a new concept called time in range i think we need to focus on time in range so that it will help us in reducing the glucose excretions next slide please and it is very important that uh, we should know the the key clinical metrics to support support the effective diabetes management is that uh, time in range is very important if you have a sub optimal time in range it can lead to micro and microvascular complications uh, basically uh, we know that currently in india estimates almost close to 100 million diabetic patients in 2019 we used to have 70 million diabetic patients but in a span of just 4 years we have increase of almost close to 30 to 40 million diabetic patients and we have another 100 million diabetic patients who are on pre diabetes i think it's very important to reduce the complications because early diagnosis and early management of diabetes is very important early glycemia early glucose control is very important the metabolic memory will have impact on long term uh, for reducing complications the initial control of glucose is very important and with the latest technologies like continuous glucose monitoring systems it can help us in reducing the glycemic excursions next slide we know that uh, beyond hba1c glycemic variability and timing range uh, these are also some of the key metrics to support the effective diabetes management and uh, we know that uh, glycemic variability is a common challenge for people with, especially in type 1 diabetes because they take insulin uh, fluctuations can happen related to diet relation to timing of the insulin and it's very important to uh, act assess the glycemic variability and even international gui guidelines also recommend currently with to use time in range and uh, and also glycemic variability as a key matrix to facilitate the effective diabetes management in clinical aspects so this will have a greater impact in the quality of life of the patients because if you have low and high sugars uh, patients uh, complaint for the medication also will be an issue so if you have a flat profile of glucose the avnc even the time in range will have a good outcome but if you have fluctuations of high and low sugars despite of you are having a hba1c of below 7% if your excretions are more low and high that can lead to more complications next slide please so the current uh, we know that uh, the cgm provides a a uh, wealth of data on glucose variability including what i have mentioned that excursions above above range and below range so this this uh, time in range we uh, is very important uh, it is only it will the cgm will help in uh, ac uh, assessing the uh, time in range of below or above range of glucose levels next slide at least the time in range should be at least 70% if you can keep and uh, if you can uh, you, the below 70 mg per deciliter if you can have less than 1% of hypoglycemic events that will have a great impact in reducing the complications and above 300 also less than 10% overall target should be at least 110 to 
below 70 percent if you if you keep your fasting below 110 and if you keep your random blood sugar or post final blood glucose less than 180 and if you keep the ranges in i mean range that will have impact on reducing the complications next slide please We know that uh, suboptimal time ingredients can have a negative impact on the lives of people with diabetes. It can impact their quality of life, and it can also increase the risk of retinopathy. It can also increase the risk of microvascular complications. It can have an impact on uh, cardio and renal uh, complications. So it is very important that we need to keep the timing range under target so that it will help in reducing the even cardiovascular mortality.